World War II had far-reaching impacts on individuals and communities, including Hadfield, New Jersey. Many young men were drafted or enlisted to serve in the military, leaving their families behind to fight for their country and experience unimaginable trauma in the process. In Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse-Five, the character Billy Pilgrim, an optometrist and World War II veteran, suffers from PTSD and a serious head injury, causing him to feel disconnected from reality and have delusional ideas about aliens and the concept of time. In Haddonfield, the community faced rationing and shortages of food and other necessities during the war, just like in the prison camp where Billy Pilgrim was held. However, the people of Haddonfield found ways to make do with what they had and support one another during difficult times. They planted victory gardens and shared their resources with neighbors and friends, demonstrating their strength and resilience in the face of adversity. I was thinking of the HMTS Rohana, tragedy that claimed the lives of seven men from Camden County, including one man memorialized at the Haddonfield Memorial High School, demonstrates the challenges of wartime censorship. Families that did not hear about their loved ones' deaths for 57 years due to their censorship. The firebombing of Dresden, which Billy Pilgrim survived, was also controversial and caused many civilian casualties. The public's understanding of the event was also limited due to government censorship, preventing the public from fully grasping the horrors of war and questioning the decisions made by those in power. Despite these changes, both Haddonfield and the high school has preserved their hard historical architecture, including the many arches that are a common symbol in many war memorials. The town's colonial architecture is also an important part of its history, and conservation efforts began in the 1960s and still continue today. The preservation of these historical landmarks is a testament to the strength and resilience of the community and serve as a memorial to those who fought and died in those wars. The conservation efforts in Haddonfield began during the 1960s, and they continue to this day. By preserving historical landmarks, the community is able to honor and remember the sacrifices made during World War II. The conservation of historical architecture and landmarks is a testament to the community's determination to preserve its history and ensure that future generations will learn from the past. By recognizing and honoring the sacrifices made by those who fought in the war and acknowledging the lasting effects of war on individuals and communities, we can work towards creating a more peaceful and just world. The conservation of historical landmarks in Haddonfield serves as a testament to the strength and resilience of the community, which was testing during World War II. The conservation of these landmarks honors the sacrifices made by those who fought and died in wars and reminds us of the importance of recognizing the lasting effects of war on individuals and communities.